All right. This is uh, me at the bonfire at the cliff underside. And this video is to show the path and the fight of the third boss that you encounter in the game. His name is kind of hard to remember. It's uh, Curse Rotted Greatwood. So here I am now making my way to him. I have fought through and cleared in the entire area and collected all the loot and killed all of these guys several times already. So my, I have an ember active, so I was able to summon a guy from the uh, Sunlight Covenant. Here I am just checking over here, since I don't believe I've been over there previously. Nothing that I missed, apparently. And this guy's probably wondering... what I'm waiting for. I'm actually waiting on one more summon sign to show up. Hopefully he understands what pointing to the ground means. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I don't think I have that particular uh, piece of sign language yet. Oh, I just heard. Oh, there it is. I don't know what I'm doing. It's over to the right. It's up there. What are you doing? Now I see it. <laughs> so. Let him know that I have found one. Don't want to waste too much of his time. He's motioning. He's got a... Uh, <laughs> I don't have any of the... Uh, vocal uh, gestures yet. So once again, they they cannot enter the area until I activate the boss. Gigantic rotten tree. We are just clearing out the enemies on the edges. What you do with this boss is you hit those uh, pus sacks. Which 
Makes it look like you're hitting him in the nuts, which is kind of weird. That was a timely jump. So the second phase is about to start, where we drop through the ground. He falls right on me, but no damage is taken in that animation. So now the pus sacks are located on various places. Some on his leg. Some in the middle as well. Bad news, I just lost one of my phantoms. So now it's two of us. Thought I saw a pus sack there. If not. Thought I hit that one too. Huh. Okay, so this is really bad news. I just lost the other guy. I am officially all by myself. And it's not going well. I give myself about a 100% chance to die here. This is the only time I ever fought him, too. This is, uh... This is my first time encountering him. I really just want to get through this and get on with the game, but like I said, I give myself almost no shot here. Here's what I started doing now, and this is a big Dark Souls thing. Um, I stopped panicking. And... Realized that... I should focus on the basics in Dark Souls, which is... Ooh, except for this attack. Focus on the basics. Um, avoiding hits. All right. And um, taking my time and not panicking. So, I have to look for other places to attack since his middle seems to be taken out. See those ones on his back. I almost hit him. I got one on his thigh there. There's some 
on his legs. It's a miracle that I stayed alive here. And I beat him. Transposing Kiln, which you give to an NPC back at Firelink Shrine, and of course the Boss Soul. There's a couple of items. May not be terribly useful, but there's items near the bonfire that just opened up. Take this place in a little bit. Light the bonfire. And I am so happy that I did not have to repeat this. And even lost both of my guys and did it all on my own. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> 